What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the old Wix blog and the new Wix blog. So guys, Wix has just recently um, released a new Wix blog. Uh, so what I mean by that is the old blogging platform is now the old blogging platform. There is now a new blogging platform that I'm gonna demo and show you guys in this video. So you guys are all familiar with the old one. Um, you know, I use the old blogging platform on my blog right now. There's been a little controversy actually because there's been a bit of a dispute. A lot of people, um, including the Wix design experts group I'm in, which is a group of uh, Wix web designers, which, little plug here, but if you guys are looking for web design, I'm your dude, hit me up. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, drop me an email, uh, email's down in the description below. Anyway, um, but there's been a, a bit of a dispute because a lot of people have actually said that they like the old blog better. Now, I understand that, and you know some of it may be because people just don't like change. Some people do not like change. However, I haven't personally moved over to the new blog yet on my actual website, my wixmywebsite.com. Another plug, wixmywebsite.com. Go get up on those weekly Wix tips. Um, you will not regret that. Um, but with that being said, I haven't really experienced the difference between the two. However, from what I noticed on that new Wix blog, I actually kind of like it. I mean, visually, it's appealing. It's almost identical to the Wix forum, which is an interesting thing what they did there. But let, let me show you guys this. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna add a site, and we're just gonna add a blog. We're gonna use the editor. And then we're just gonna go to new because all of the new Wix templates have the new Wix blog on them. That's a good thing for you guys to know. All of the newest Wix templates have the new Wix blog on them. Most of your older templates are going to still have that old Wix blog design on there. So just something to know when picking that. However, as soon as everything is like, you know, updated and they test it a little bit, uh, they will make a complete transfer and make sure that the new Wix blog is on all of the templates. So just something to stay noted. Uh, so we'll just go here. Uh, we'll press, uh, well, I was gonna press edit, but we press view first, it's all good. We're gonna press edit right there. And then we're gonna come in here. This site does not currently have the Wix blog on it. However, I'm going to go ahead and add the Wix blog on it, the new one. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, we're gonna go to add apps. Oh, look at that. They have the Wix blog as five apps bloggers love. Well, I would think so. <laughs> so we're gonna click add the site and then it's gonna add the Wix blog app as a page as it normally does. However, you will notice something quite significantly different. It's almost exactly identical to the forum, to the Wix forum, except it's a blog. Now, some people may hate this. I think it's kind of cool. Uh, so now you can actually have people sign up to become subscribed to your blog to become members of your blog and technically your website, but really your blog. Um, and you can actually make it so that way uh, you can choose if either owners and writers are the only one to write blog posts, or you can actually make it now, kind of like a forum, to where anyone, if they're a member, can write a blog post. So this is kind of cool. So let me, let me go into it a little bit. So we're gonna click on here, we're gonna click settings, we're gonna get in here. Um, I'm gonna skip main for right now. I'm gonna go back to it and show you guys that in a second. Uh, but we'll go to categories. So just like categories on a forum, literally the same exact setup and everything in the settings format. Um, it's the same thing. If you wanna edit, you can see all posts here. You can go here, you can edit, and you can change the name. You can change the title of the blog, the blog description, your header, your images, text color, all of that. You can change this main portion right here um, with this setting here. And then you have your different categories. So that's where stuff like these right here, all posts, getting started, your community, blogging tips, those are your categories. And they are now displayed there at the top. Same thing, you can come in there, click that, click edit, and you can go through and edit 
your categories. You can even have that header picture up here again. Okay, and then we have our actual blog settings. Right here, you can pick a blog subject. So the subject of your blog. You can see they have lots of options to choose from. We'll just call this one an entertainment blog. And then you choose your default language on the blog. So in this case, I'm English, I speak English, and we are going to choose English. And for display here, you can choose view counter, um, or you can have login from blog menu. So this, again, allows people to log in. Now, with that being said, you can actually make it right here if you click member signup settings. If you want to make this blog, say, exclusive if you guys are doing a paid membership website for paying members, you can make it so that way you have to approve each new member. Or if you select everyone, that means anyone that signs up is automatically approved and they're a member. But if you select people I approve, that means that you actually have to manually approve each member. Um, this could be a hassle for some of you unless you have an exclusive group that you want this blog targeted to. Um, you can even allow social login as well where they can log in with their Google or Facebook accounts. You would then press done. And then blog privacy. So this is where you can choose that right here. So who can write posts in your blog? So you can make it either owners and writers. And by the way, writers, you can actually go into your Wix dashboard and you can add writers as a role on your website. And then that means they could only access the blog and they could write on your blog. So you can hire writers, however you want to do that. Or you can choose all members. So that means anyone who becomes a member of this blog can create a blog. So if you're here to create an interactive community, this is also a great idea. Um, so that way you can actually have people starting their own little segment or their own little blog themselves because each member can write a blog. And what happens is if we press preview and like we went to, well, this, this is where the members page would be if you click that. Obviously, there's no members on this blog right now. But what would happen is you click that, you could go on to each member profile, just like the forum, and you can see all the posts they've written, and you can follow them, and you can follow their posts. So it's actually kind of cool. I personally like it so far. Um, but then after that, you can obviously, we get in here to design, where you could design the look of your blog, look, feel, however you want to customize that. That's completely up to you. And then support, and then we see add-ons right here. So you can add a custom feed to your blog, you can add a recent post feed, or you can add a members page. Um, and this is where you would add that whole members page, which I just clicked, and that's what that was. Another add-on I wanna show you, nice little cool thing that Wix is looking out for us for is now instead of clicking add to site you can see custom feed and you can actually choose what page it's added to so this makes it a little easier on your life because now you don't have to worry about clicking it and adding it to this page right here but you have to then drag it over to another page or this or that so no they let you actually add it to a specific page now which is really cool um, so that is the blog new blog as far as settings go now if we go to manage posts, this is where it's a little different. So a lot of you guys are used to that old blogging feel. Um, it's in the Wix dashboard. You can still access that from there. However, it's taken a new design. If you see here, we have a different setup than the old Wix blog. Right here, you create your author name, you create your profile, you can change your picture and your name. Um, and then we have our posts right here. To edit your posts, you would press edit, but Obviously, to create a new post, you would press create a post. And if we go in here to edit, you can see it's changed It's changed a little bit. And this is the part where I start to understand why people prefer the old blog over the new blog. And I can already tell you, it has nothing to do with the design of the new blog. The new functionality of the new blog, the members, the the ability to have members write their own blog post. I'm pretty sure everybody likes that concept and I'm pretty sure everybody likes that idea. However, once we get into this, I don't I don't like it as much. Uh, if you notice, we're missing a lot of key factors such as you can add images and videos down here. But wait a second, let me go back to the old blog and I wanna show you something. So this is the part where I start to understand people. And honestly, this is the most important part of your blog, your content. So I love the design of the new blog, but 
let me go back and show you. So this is the old blog dashboard right here. It's going to pop up. It's loading quick. By the way, Witch Talks podcast, new one's out. Nayeli Gomez, the code queen. Go listen to her. Um, so this is the old blog design. Nothing wrong with that at all. If we go to new post, you'll see it's a completely different design. You can add images, galleries, videos, music, GIFs, uh, dividers, HTML, and then we have title, author name, and then the post content right here. But not only that, guys, we have over here the published post, save as draft. Now, those things you can still do on the new blog. If we go back here, you can see you can still save it as a draft or publish changes. But I don't see schedule on here, so that means we can no longer schedule the post. That's a bit of an issue for me. Um, previewing the post, featuring the post. I, I mean, I don't even know if we have that ability. We can still choose categories right there, which is nice. But I don't see the ability to add tags to our post, which I don't like that either. And then the other thing is, let me just add some random stuff here. The related post, this was a cool feature because then if you had a related post segment on a page, it would show up on your blog page with different posts that other readers might like if they're reading that article. Not only that, but then we go down to advanced, and then I don't see any of these advanced settings in here either. So, guys, this is what I'm talking about. I love the design of the new blog post, I, or the new blog system in Wix. I love the concept of the new blog system in Wix. I think it's excellent. The problem is they need to carry over all of those old blog features to the new blog platform while probably even adding a couple features here and there. And until that happens, I personally, until I'm forced, will not switch from my old blog to my new or to the new Wix platform. The only way I could see you posting or switching to the new Wix blog platform, let me explain, is if you're strictly trying to go for that forum type feel and you do your goal is to add those members and have tons of people write posts for you and you don't mind, you know, not having to add HTML. You just want to add images and videos and text. If that's what you're doing, then roll with the new blog. It's a better design, better functionality. But if you are looking for all those standard features, adding categories, tags, scheduling posts, previewing posts, featuring posts, um, you know, making sure it's optimized for Google, which I don't see this on here, stick with the old blog. Stick with the old blog. I thought it was very important to show you guys a little comparison video today between the old Wix blog and the new Wix blog. And I'm sure some of you probably didn't even know that there was a new Wix blog, but there is. Um, so that's my opinion. If you do not have to switch off the old Wix blog quite yet for you know functionality or this members type feature, then don't do it. Personal opinion, I love Wix. I love what they did with this. However, it's not quite ready yet. Uh, and that's that's my opinion. I hope they add all of those old blog features back in, maybe in a new modern twist, a new modern way, something that's more visually appealing in the dashboard and on the blog. However they have to do it is fine with me, but mm, until that happens, I will not be switching over. I hope this helped you guys figure out you know, which type blog you're going for, if you're going to stick with the old platform or the new platform on Wix. Um, either way, there's nothing wrong. If you're going with the new platform, go for it. I mean, Wix put it out there for a reason. They want you to use it. So if you like this, what are you waiting for? Go for it. I'm just saying my personal opinion is that I won't be using that quite yet. Guys, if this video helps you out, please drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. I'm here to help you out. Subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert. And guys, don't forget to come check out. Let me pull it up here. <laughs> Wixmywebsite.com, guys. Um, I'm here to help you out. I provide you resources such as these. Um, it's going to load up here. Such as these weekly Wix tips, guys. Come here. Get on that email list. It's already helping tons of people out. That's what I'm here to do. I send out weekly emails uh, with you know different Wix content, promoting different uh, free Wix events, stuff like that. And another thing, guys, if you're ready for some web design, you guys need assistance with it, redesign, website review, a full build web design. 
anything within Wix, I'm available for hire. I just brought on another person to my team, uh, so that's extremely exciting news. Uh, so we're we're picking up a lot of clients here, and I want you to know that we're available, especially now that I added someone else to the team. I have the ability to have multiple hands going at once, so that way we can have happy clients um, and create quality uh, websites. So if you guys are ready to take that next step, please come on, join me. I I consider you all family. All my clients are family to me. Um, so please go ahead, take that next step. Email me. Uh, go onto my website. You can chat with me down here. Use that chat feature. I always answer. Sometimes it takes me a little bit. Guys, I'm in college. I have classes. Um, but I will answer you. Uh, so just make sure you do that. Other than that, guys, I hope you have an excellent rest of your evening and have an amazing day tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you on the next one.